Hey guys, it's Rebecca with Brand True. And what I want to talk to you about today is how the name of a brand is like how consumers grab onto it. So in the 70s, in the US at least, in slang, people called your name your handle. It came from truckers and CBs. But I think about it all the time in the context of brands because a brand has so many parts to it. A brand, especially if it's a well-known brand, has so many different things. There's the product itself, which is probably a lot of different things, and the experiences you've had with it, how it's changed over time, the logo, the colors, the ads, consumer experiences, good and bad. There's just a million things. And I sort of feel like a brand over time becomes like this suitcase full of all of this information. And yet people can do a really good job of keeping track of it all, but that name is the handle that you grab onto it by. I'll give you a great example. There's a brand that has some really disparate elements like polar bears and Santa Claus and Olympic sponsorships and hippies singing together on a mountaintop and the color red and a certain particular swirl and a distinctive bottle shape. You know where I'm going with this. The handle that we hold all of those associations with is the name Coca-Cola. So I love thinking about it that way, that when you're thinking about your name, think about <laughs> people will hold on to you with it. It doesn't have to say it all, but it has to help you kind of grab all the things that go into that are a part of your brand. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, I love hearing from you guys. Thanks. Hey friends, come check us out at brandtrue.com for more content like this and to learn about how we might work together. We love making new friends, helping brands to find their brand truths, and then tell the world about them.